Now let's understand what are facts and fact tables in our data warehouse. The distinction between facts and dimensions is sometimes not so easy and not so clear. And that's why we want to make it a little bit more understandable and make the distinction between them clear. So we remember that in a star schema, which is the most common schema in our data warehouse, when we model our data in a dimensional way, we have the fact table in the middle and then we have the dimensions clustered around this fact. And an example of that could be that we have a fact table, which could be in our case a sales table. And then we have different dimension tables clustered around this fact. So the fact is in the center of our star schema and it contains the important measurement of our company. So for example, it can be the sales and we can measure the units sold or the profit that we have made. So this fact table is the foundation of our data warehouse because it contains the key measurements in our company. For example, sales, profit, units sold and so on. And these facts are then what we want to aggregate usually and analyze by the dimensions. And since the distinction between facts and dimensions is sometimes not so clear, there are some things that help us to recognize a fact. So usually, not always, but usually the facts are additive. That means we can add them up and the added up numbers make sense. So for example, if we have the units, we add them all up, it makes sense. This is the total amount of sold units. So usually they are in some way aggregatable and therefore they are very commonly numerical values. And they are in contrast to the dimensions, not descriptive, but they are measurable. And then also we have different types of facts, which we'll talk about later on, but oftentimes they are event or transactional based. So we have one sale and this sale is basically like a transaction or we have another event. So something is happening and then this is also a sign that this can be a fact. So a sale can also be like an event that is happening at a specific time or a specific date. And therefore oftentimes in a fact table, we also have some kind of date or time column included. But now this time or date column, of course, is included in a fact, but the date itself, the transaction date is not a fact. So therefore a fact table consists out of our primary key, which is uniquely identifying every single row in our fact table. Then we have usually multiple foreign keys that are the reference to our dimensions. And then of course we have the facts themselves. So these facts can be for example, sales, profit, budget or any other things that are of key interest and can be measured in our company. Our fact table is defined by the so-called grain and the grain means the most atomic level of a fact. So for example, if we have the following fact table, we see that we have the profit for every single region and every single day. So for every single date and every single region, we have one row defined. So we have the profit in one row for one specific region at one specific date. And this is then the most atomic level and this is then the grain of our fact table. And last but not least, I also want to already mention that there can be different variations of facts, but this is something that we want to keep for later on because this is then a little bit more detailed. But now we have understood that a fact table is containing the facts, which are the key measurements in our company, and they are in the middle of our star schema.
And now that we've learned this about the facts, we also want to take a closer look at the dimensions and understand what are these dimensions and what is specific about them.